Hi there, welcome back to the Carver's Woodshop. This is Arlene once again and from Honeybrook, PA. I'm going to start doing our series number three here with the Santa, the old style Santa, just like we did in series number one. But the only difference we're going to do is we're going to do the boots and the pants, okay, and show you how to put that coat on there. Um, I'm going to share something with you here. Um, some people have asked about the blocks and stuff and I'm going to show you something here. Uh, the, these blocks are five inches long, high, okay, and one and a half by one and a half deep. Um, so they're one and a half by one and a half by, by five inches long, all right. And how we got this, I kind of pre-drew this and I want to explain this uh, to you. Uh, first of all, you want to look for a piece of wood that doesn't have any brown spots such as this, okay? Because that can run all the way through this piece of wood. And this piece of wood is looks longer than it is. It's only 18 inches long. And I ordered them completely square um, from my supplier. And what we do is, uh, what you want to do on this is we want to try to get five inches tall. So what you do is you measure the five inches and you draw a line and you cut this line as straight as you can and as perfectly square as you can uh, on a bandsaw. And then when you go to the bandsaw, you're going to go about an inch and a half to two inches down and just draw a curvature line to the point like, that, like as you see there, okay? And then on this, uh, this is the back of the, and the grain is running this way. This is the back of the Santa. And then you're going to take from the tip and then draw another line, curvature line, down, okay? You can see where we're getting this portion of the Santa. Um, and what you're going to do is hold your finger at each end and see if it's even. This looks very even to me, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to bandsaw it. When you, when you saw this, you're going to go from the bottom to the top of the hat. You're not going to bandsaw it the opposite way because you're going to go against the grain. You want to go with the grain. So when you bandsaw it, you're going to bandsaw it this way first, okay? So you're going to flip it over, put it back in the bandsaw, and go this way, as you see here, okay? So and then you'll end up with a cut like this, okay? This is what it will look on the back, okay? And then in the front, you'll have this line going right up the center. That's exactly how you can tell if your block is square or not. Um, it's very, very important to um, to um, have that that crest going right up the middle. Now this piece I didn't realize had a couple brown spots in it. So we're going to start with another piece here that I pre-cut. And we're going to do this Santa. And what I want you to do is after you cut it, and this is why let me go back for a second. This is why you can do this any length you want. You know, I'm doing it five inches right now, which is right here. You can do it six or seven inches, whichever you want to do. Um, you can use the same concept in the carving, um, and they'll all look a little bit different. So uh, let me go back and show you what to do to start this. Now this has also a little brown spot, but that is actually part of the grain. So I'm going to leave that go. I'm going to go ahead and carve this one up as a teaching uh, uh, carving. And so this is number series number three, number one, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to clean all this up. On my very first videos, it wasn't clear because I used the quick cam. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're just going to, you know, go with the grain. You know, work your way up to the top of the hat, not the other way, okay? Because if you go the other way, you're going to go dig it into the wood. So just go ahead and start carving all that out. And I don't know if I explained that the first time, but I know some of you had a hard time cutting these out or understanding how to cut them out. That's why I wanted to spend a little time on that on this video to show you. Like I said in my, my talking video before, if there's something you don't understand, just let me know and I'll try to incorporate that in some of my teaching videos um, as we go along. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make another cut here. We're going to clean this all up. And you're going to try to leave that crest as straight as you can. It's a little harder on the left-hand side for me. Um, most carvers will tell you that. And then you can turn it around and pull it towards yourself. 
and you use your thumb as a stop cut. Make sure you put your glove on and um, a, um, a um, thumb guard. My hands have a little bit of ink on them. I have a business where I refill inkjet cartridges, so once in a while I forget to put the gloves on uh, to keep my hands good and clean. But uh, most of it's all washed off. Some of it just remains. Okay, there's the beginning of our, our carving. Now what we want to do, we want to put a little line at the top. Okay, little line at the bottom where we feel the end of his bearder is going to be. Okay, we're going to go back, take our knife, we're going to put a stop cut at the top first and just chop it out a little bit. And go back here at the bottom, put another stop cut. Now simply a stop cut is just uh, uh, putting the knife in, making a line so that when you undercut it, it will stop there. See? So that's what a stop cut is. Alright, so I'm trying to do these videos with a beginner in mind that you may not always understand what we're talking about. Okay, now what we want to do here is we want to um, go ahead and make a um, an oval. So what I do to measure, remember how we measure with our hand and our finger. I'm going to put one here, a line on this side, and do the same thing on the other side maybe a little further, I'm sorry, a little further on this side, okay. And we're going to do a little bit of an oval shape to meet that line, okay, on both sides. There we go. And then we're going to swing that around and meet the bottom of our face. Now our beard isn't really super long today, so we're, we're going to have a tiny face on this guy, I'm sorry, a tiny face on this guy here, okay. We're going to put the nose probably up here somewhere. But what you want to do is you want to follow that. Make a stop cut on your oval shape is our next step. Exactly like that. And make sure your glove is on, okay, folks? Because this is when you can slip and cut. This is when you do these stop cuts. Because you're putting some pressure on it with your hand. But uh, do your best to control your knife. You know, if you're not used to it, practice on a on an extra piece. You know, just take it and start hacking away at it and get the feel of the knife and the wood and um, all that. So, okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to undercut this portion here. From the, about the, where it starts, the curvature starts here, right here. We're going to And we're going to turn it, do the other side, undercut it. All right. And then we're going to undercut under the beard on the opposite side. So I'm going to cut this out just a tad more. So I'm going to finish up this one side and then I'm going to stop the video and finish the other side off the video and then we'll start from there. Okay, and we'll continue on the face on our net, on series number, on part number two. Okay, so this is series number three. All right, I'll be back. Bye-bye.